Stop waiting for inspiration. If you're waiting for inspiration, you are already behind. Stop waiting. It doesn't matter what you're trying to do, whether it is pass a math class, get faster at running, be better at a certain sport, get a job. Whatever it is you're trying to do, if you are sitting around waiting for inspiration, that's not a good way to be. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with inspiration. Inspiration is key. Inspiration is something that I think is good for people and it's good for human beings. We need to be inspired. But when there is no inspiration and you know you have to work, that's when you have to work. And that's when champions are made. Stop waiting around for inspiration. Get to work right now. The truth is success isn't about inspiration. It's about showing up and doing the work. If you want to accomplish something, you have to put the work in. You know, if you're trying to get faster at that one mile run, you're gonna have to run more. Usually the more you do a thing, the better you get. If you're trying to get better at mathematics, you have to do more math. If you're trying to get a new job, you have to put your foot out there. You have to apply. Don't be afraid. Stop being afraid. Real growth. Real growth happens when you jump in the trenches. In mathematics, that's the equivalent of, you know, picking up a math book that you think is beyond your level, sitting there with a piece of paper and a pencil, and trying to read it, trying to understand, grasping at straws. You're in the trenches. That's the struggle that makes you stronger. And if it feels really hard, that's good. That means you are learning. That is how you learn. You know, math, for example, would be even better if it would be easy to learn. But unfortunately, it is not. And it's through those struggles that you really learn. If you, if you sit there and you really, really think about a, a math problem, if you really put the time in, you, you, you work the proof out, you go back, you reflect on it, you work it out again, you ask yourself, is there another way to do the proof? You've, you've completely overanalyzed the problem. That's when you really know mathematics and that's when it really sticks. That's how you get in the trenches and learn. You go deep. You know, when you're doing a, a, an inductive proof, you know, where does the proof fail? That's always the key step, right? Without the inductive hypothesis, you know, things fall apart and, and realize that step. Always pay attention to that step because sometimes that step can give you insight perhaps into other ideas uh, in certain situations, but not all. Saying you're not good enough is a really bad thing. You are good enough. Saying you don't have the talent is not a good thing because if you don't have the talent, maybe you don't have it, you're gonna have to make up with it with something called hard work. So get in the trenches and get to work. Having no talent for something is not an excuse not to at least do decent in it. You know, you don't have to be a master, but I mean, let's say you're terrible at math, right? And you somehow have to take this class, a college algebra class for your degree. You have the capability to grind through that. Even if you're bad at math, I have seen people rise from the ashes like a phoenix and succeed in all areas of math. I have seen people do what you think is not even possible. Don't let excuses hold you back from your success. Don't make excuses for your success. We all do this. I do this. I see people do it all the time. It's something I'm very aware of because I think it's not a good thing to do to make excuses. Don't make excuses for not learning because you know you can. Don't make excuses for not trying because you know you can. It's, it's not talent that is going to set you apart from everyone else in the world. 
It is the willingness to do something that someone else hasn't done. The guts to get in there and do it. The guts to pick up that math book and start doing math right now. Math, like anything else, is not just about talent. It is about the grind. It is about getting in there and working hard, very, very hard. Some people are better at certain things than other people. That is a fact, okay? Some people are better at math. Some people are faster runners. Some people are really big and have huge muscles. And some people are just really smart. What sets you apart from everyone else is the one thing you can control. It's your ability to work hard because you can't control your genetics. You can't control how good you are naturally at something, I think. I think you can get better at something and you can discover perhaps that you actually are very good at that thing that you think you're not very good at. So you might be brilliant at mathematics even though you think you're terrible. You never know. And really just quit waiting. Quit waiting, get in the trenches, right? Start doing whatever it is you've been making excuses not to do. Start doing whatever it is you've been procrastinating. Stop waiting around for inspiration. You need to be able to perform when you don't have inspiration. And your goal should always be to perform your best when you have no inspiration, which is, which is almost impossible. I think it's very hard. It doesn't even make any sense, right? Because how are you gonna perform well if you don't have inspiration? You have to inspire yourself. You have to pick yourself up off the ground and get to work. And through that hard work, you will reap success. And through that success, you will reap inspiration. You have to work when you don't have inspiration. And I think that's the key message that you should take away from this video when it comes to mathematics and life in general, you know? If, if you have to go to class today, what do you do, right? You get up and you go to class. If you have to go to work, what do you do? You get up and you go to work, right? I mean, you get it done. If you have to do math today, what do you do? You sit down and you do mathematics. You can do it. So quit waiting around for inspiration. You can do it, I know you can. If you found this video helpful, feel free to hit subscribe, share, all that stuff. Check out my courses, they're on Udemy, but if you get them, use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com, or the links that are found in the description of any of my videos. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.